My name is Meryl King and the name of the company is Capital Caterers and I'm the Joint Managing Director. Capital Caterers is a, a what was loosely termed as an industrial catering company. It's not uh, wedding catering. We do catering for schools, retirement villages, hospitals, so more, more industrial catering as they would call it. I started off at Capital 15 or 20 years ago as the group executive chef. So that's my, my training background is as a chef. My life now has changed from being hands-on in the kitchen to managing the people who manage the people who manage the people who cook the food. I got to where I am today through all the women in the company. You may talk about a woman in business, a person, but uh, I believe for me, I'm a woman in business because of all the women that, um, that I work with. We've got 1,280 staff um, in the company and of that 928 are women. In management position we've got an 82% uh, women in executive positions. I firmly believe that they are the success of me. They make the success of Capital Caterers and that shows that uh, women aren't just there to wash the pots and clean the floors and maybe make the odd salad. We are now the force and the reason why catering companies such as ours are successful in South Africa. My biggest inspiration um, are the staff who get to work by six o'clock in the morning, they're already cooking the, the, the breakfast for all our thousands and thousands of, of clients. And at lunchtime, they've still got an amazing smile on their face and they are the face of the company. They are the ones who are talking to our clients, making them feel that Capital Caterers is the best catering company they've had. And so I'm humbled, I'm inspired every minute of the day by our staff. Kind of for many years just thought I would be a, a chef and a mum and a kind of was always bubbling over with I'm sure I can do more than this so actually getting to be the managing director of a company seeing our profits double in two years just through controls just through a collaborative management style I feel that Yes, I, you know, I, I can feel proud of, of the position I've been put into. But what I would like to, to see is for us to, to grow because that means we can employ so many more unskilled women out there. And, and that to me would be an amazing accomplishment if, I, if we can increase our workforce so much more in this, in this time. I think the work-life balance means one has to just increase the daylight hours <laughs> to burn the candle at both ends, to, so to speak. If you're not living on the edge, you're taking up too much space. I live my life to the absolute most. I will make sure that um, every minute of my life is fulfilled, whether it be with my friends, on the sporting field, and then um, fully at work. And somewhere in that, the husband kind of features. <laughs> if you're able to manage your work and your social life, then I think you've been quite successful. I think women's approach to business is still a tough one because unfortunately sexism is still alive and well. And certainly we've made lots of inroads, there's huge strides being taken in that area, but we are still fighting against it. Women have always felt like we're not being taken seriously, so we kind of go to others to say, is this right? Do you, do you agree with what I'm saying here? And so because of that, you almost become uh, collaborative by, by, by its nature. And I think collaborative management's a really, really good, uh, good form. And that's how I work my, my life here at Capital. By all of us doing it together, I think that's what the success of it is. It's collaborative. It's made women give a different approach to business, that, it's, that there's a buy-in from, from everybody. Is it a softer approach? I don't know what, maybe it's just a more thoughtful approach, but I, it certainly is slightly different to what I've seen of, of the men in the, in the boardroom. When I was younger, the big slogan in my day was, you've got to be the best that you can be. It's a wonderful philosophy to live by. However, in my aged years, I've realized that, yes, be the best that you can be, but 
make all those below you better than me. Because if they are better than me, then I can go away and I know that the job's still going to be done. To me, the success of a person should be measured not on how good you are, but on how good your staff are that can get the job done without you being better.